In this video, we'll show you how to load in a new design and set it up for sewing. And also, this video takes advantage of installing several shortcuts on the right side custom button screen. And uh, the shortcuts we've installed are from top to bottom here, read from the USB stick, center the design, trace, and we have other functions here, and then a forward and back button. So to read in a new design, take a USB stick, have a DST or a TAP design saved onto the USB stick, and insert it either onto the front port or any of the two ports on the right side. Press the read button, scroll through and find your design. Press to select your design. Wait till the complete message, hit OK. Finally escape back out to the home screen and that design is now displayed on the front screen. The next step is to select the colors for that design. We can see that by pressing the button next to these color cones. When you load in a design that you've had done by a digitizer, they will often provide you with a list of colors to follow. So in this screen, you're going to enter those colors. Uh, the first color happens to be coincidentally red. We're going to sign it needle one uh, where that color is. And so if you go back, you can see that now that's red. The next color is going to be uh, the letter on the inside of this red, which happens to be white. So we'll go ahead and select the white color. And when you go back, you can see that is now white. Finally, also for the, for the third color, we know this is blue, so we'll pick the needle number that has blue assigned to it, in this case 11. And then finally, the text at the bottom, needle 2. And if you need to see how that looks so far, you can press the magnifying glass here that shows this in full color. Once we're done assigning colors to the design, press the home screen, returning us once more to the home screen. Also, you can see that the design is pretty small compared to the hoop. So we'll want to select a better size hoop. So in this case, we will select this uh, 15 centimeter round instead of the 32 centimeter square. So we then finally go to the button next to the hoop. And this shows us the position. And also up here in this part of the screen, you can hit change to also change the hoop. Select from the different categories of hoops that are available. In this case, we want a round hoop. So we'll go to the round section. And since this is the 15 centimeter round, which is indicated and printed on the tab of this hoop, then we'll select that, escape back one level, and you can see that the hoop area is much smaller. The design can be positioned anywhere within the hoop, either by tapping, and you can see the design automatically moves to that position, or just hit center to center it in the middle of the field. Finally, return to the home screen, and you can see that the position is centered. The next thing you'll want to do is insert this hoop onto the machine properly. And on inserting that in the machine, you can also hit trace, again set up by the shortcuts that we did before we started this video, so that the machine will then perform a trace and let you visually verify the position of the design. When ready, we press start to begin sewing. 